Ooh, there it is. Can't, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's the gears back down in there that we're going to have to weld. Open diff. So, got to bring this over to my buddy and get it welded. And in the meantime, since I got some time, I'm going to paint this. Because when you look under the car, you can see the bottom of the diff. It should be good to go. Drain plug has got the magnetic bit to it to grab any sort of particles. It's just gummed up. So, it's no metal flakes though. It doesn't look like it's metal flakes, but still nasty. Now, I could get this thing a little bit cleaner if I really wanted to, but it's going on under the car. The paint, I don't even really expect to last that long, but I've got time and I want to make it look cool, so I'm going to do it. So, there are more ways to clean it better, but I did some... I am putting just a teeny bit of tape over these holes so I don't mess up the threads and I don't get paint inside where I don't need paint. Oh my gosh, that's bright. Why did I go that color? Who knows? It could have been this, could have been that. Well, because it's the little things that count. Yeah, it's pretty close. These are pretty darn dirty right now. If I wash these up, it's almost identical. It's a little bit more gold, and this is a little bit more orange. But yeah, kind of try to match this. So once I finally have my Brembo's on, I'm gonna have a welded diff that matches my sick Brembo's. But all things in good time. Chris says he knows what he's doing, but I don't believe him. Huh? huh? Kill it with brake clean, got it. Got it. Kill, kill it? My lungs, you mean? I hope you know I'm killing brain cells and dying for you right now as a friend. Oh, that's really kind of you. Yeah. You know if you do any of this wrong, the internet's gonna let you know. I don't care. Oh, they're gonna bitch anyways, because everybody has an opinion, right, wrong, or indifferent. Sounds about right. Probably be clean. Uh, you get to carry that bag. Clean it up. Yep. Yep. So the correct way to do this would be to pull these bolts, pull all this out, take this off, and then weld just the center. But that's a real pain in the ass, and it really doesn't make that significant of a difference. Sure about that? Yeah. 1J, or I'm sorry, 1.5J, 1J, 1J. Are you ready? Does this thing work? Nope. This Maybe. Do you trust me? Um, yeah, sure. You shouldn't trust me. Oh my god. Are you scared? Yeah. Woohoo! I told you it was gonna catch on fire. Sometimes you just gotta make it so people that act like they know what they're doing do it for you. We'll see. Now for all the 13 year olds on the internet that are worried about the pieces that you just put into the diff, those are coming out pretty much beforehand. And or if they are in there, they're going to be sucked up onto the magnet and not be a problem, right? And we still have to spray out the diff and clean out all the shit that's down here because there is gonna be weld and pieces of metal that came off. But we'll spray it all down, clean it all out. And that is a perfectly custom welded, don't do this at home differential that will never break. I'm good with that. I'm glad you are. Now, here's the thing, a lot of people will put plates in between here and weld them. Mm. 
but really all that does is give you more shit to break because the welds in between the gears and the gears to the housing are the only part that really matters. Basically, if you weld the plates in, they really don't do shit. So it's this area, that the yeah. outside rim that's more important than the yeah, inside. Yeah, the gears combined, because yeah. there's the four gears. So now this gear, this gear, this gear, and this gear are all one piece with the housing on both sides. So in order to break any of this, you have to destroy the entire housing. Therefore, it ain't gonna fucking break. You'll break axles, you'll Axle. break gears before you break that. You'll break your damn drive line. Yeah. More junk. All this junk, right? Junk. It's all junk. Yeah, enough. Ugh. That's just some of the shit. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, you can still see it. Is that still oh, hot? Yeah, it's still warm. That's nice. Is it all coming out? Oh, yeah. The steam still coming off that and everything. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Well, it was 12 fucking million degrees. High temp. Okay, high silicone. temp silicone on there and then yeah. the pretty gold that I did. You Ooh. like that too? Yeah, it's custom. Super custom. That's custom. Took it's me. Isn't that a Honda color? Super powder coated. Super Honda color? Super Honda powder coated. Sick. I hope someday I can be as cool as you, Barlow. I oh, know. Yeah, maybe someday. Um, if you try I, hard I, enough. I, I might. I'm kind of old. Fucking over it. My age, dude, it's kind of like either we doing this or fuck off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't say that on the internet either, can I? Son of a bitch. Well, that's the beauty of having your own channel is just like... I can say whatever I want? You can say whatever you want. Woo! <laughs> Never seen somebody so happy about something so simple, huh? It's... I do what I want! Cheap oil to get all the slag out and then... If we'll there put, is any. If there is any, which we did a pretty damn good job of getting it all out. And then we'll pretty much uh, come back through with... Give it about Drain two it. weeks just to knock anything that might be loose out. It'll all go directly to the magnet on the bottom, which we already put back in. And then you can change it out and never worry about it again. Problems. Hallelujah. And unlike your piece of current crap that I didn't weld. I do want to pull that apart and see what's wrong with it. You want to see removing the whole diff and putting the new one back in. Video on that is somewhere here. Well, I did that already with the first one. This is the second one. Yeah, it's just, yeah. there. She blows. When ready to go. Say a prayer. This worked. So now it's time to see if. It works. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't whine. I'm gonna be pissed if it does. Let's see if Chris knew what he was doing. I think he knew what he was doing. Well, it's definitely welded. No weird sounds. Your engine. Yes. Nothing. So I spent forever looking for the open manual six-speed diff, and it took me forever to find one. But uh, it actually turns out that 9K Racing, shout out to them, had one in a car in a manual uh, 04 that they were parting out, and I got it. No dip noise. So I hope you guys learned something. I learned something from that. And uh, comment below if you think we did anything wrong. If Chris did anything wrong, it works perfectly fine. He seems to know exactly what he was doing. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I don't know why you haven't yet, but just subscribe. And uh, see you next time. I didn't pull these out and put them back into the car because these, uh, I, I can't even get these out. There's no way to prime and press them. They're, they're just stuck. And I wasn't gonna buy new ones. The bushings I got that are in the new diff are brand new practically. It's like a, a 
then I still have the solid one in the actual subframe, which is the main problem when you go and start drifting, you blow that one out all the time. So there's way less chatter with the real rear subframe and the noise and all that kind of stuff. So when turning and whatnot, um, back and forth with the welded diff, it's a lot quieter with the stock ears and the rubber bushings in there rather than the solid ones. Quick tip. Thank you.